Okay, I've just hiked from that red circle down to Port Excursion, and now I'll go to the west, as seen on this map. There, of course, are the culprits of the large piles of horse but crap, apparently given free rein to roam the park. And now I'll pan around this lovely view. which we'll see more of for the next hour or so as I hike along it. Here the shale-like rock is pretty clear indication of I believe sedimentary, even if it is a uh, very thin and seemingly consistent layers. I would guess these are woodpecker holes, but my guess is that it's just in searching for food inside this uh, somewhat dead tree. Here an interesting eroded face of what looks like that same rock material only with a slight green cast to it. Perhaps partially influenced by the uh, water. Here, the water probably still clear, nevertheless has that orangey color, which I think comes from tannins that emanate from decaying wood. Here, another face of that chalky looking material. All along the shoreline are these beautiful little inlets that just beg you to come kayaking in here around four o'clock in the afternoon. Pull your kayak up onto the beach here and set up your tent in a nice little spot further up. Two women passed me a minute ago. You could hear them coming with their loud, raucous talking. Damn, it's consistent with most pairs of women or more that just jabbering. And there are some birds that are passing and they stop and molest them. I was standing on the side of the trail. I mean, on the trail. They passed within a foot and a half and not a flicker of an eye, not a hello, nothing. Just in a perfect example of the rudeness of the younger generations. But the one woman's 37. Hopefully they'll move on. Fortunately, there's nothing big around here that they can disturb too much. Just hope they go on somewhere. Listen to them. I have to almost run to get ahead if I can of that damn tour group. God, they're an anathema. This little guy would have run farther if that 
Howling mob were ahead of me, I'd never see him. Along the bay and then it'll go north, as you see, and then it goes west alongside this road. Now I've moved inland from that uh, large bay. And the foliage has changed, you know, much deeper ground cover. One of the reasons that a young tree like this can be so easily blown over, even though it's a fairly substantial size, is its root system is very thin as it clings tenaciously to this rocky uh, underbed, which is so close to the surface. These growths on the trees are very frequent. What causes them, I don't know, whether it's some kind of a disease inherent in the tree or some kind of bug that causes them, I don't know. But these particular trees, which may be the beaches that the uh, woodpeckers frequent, uh, these growths are very prevalent. And they, if you cut them open, they look like burl wood. I'm not sure where I am. I think I could be right about in the center where the trail appears to be going due north to the left of that uh, height marker 299, but I'm not sure. Um, I may be there. I don't know where I am. <laughs> but I've just come from there, and here's this large headland here, but I don't know precisely what that is. Here are a pair of common looking ducks. Don't know what they are. If it were in the United States, I'd peg them as two females. Maybe they are. The two loudmouth girls somehow are got to be ahead of me. I've let them pass me again. Uh, so that I uh, don't have to listen to them. And I made the comment to them, I said it always amazes me when I pass people and they don't say hello. I don't think they got the point. Okay, I just walked from the red dot, or circle on the right, down, then along the lake, then that north part, then the part that goes like a pointed shoe, kind of, well, so it's actually a creek, so it's actually the top of the shoe. And I'm now standing where this little diamond is right here. In the next view you see, we'll be looking up that road towards the water closet, the bus, the hikers, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here's the view up. Rocco Lake is beyond there. And this mountain that I thought was Canadon del Toro isn't. And it's probably in Chile. Canadon del Toro must be something up there. 
Don't know how close I can get, but out there are a pair of what I think, I will describe them as black neck swans. That should be right on. This is that narrow river, La Padilla, or something river, that I'm looking across to Chile to some pretty mountains that are slightly dusted with sunlight.